Cedar Falls Schools has stayed current with technology as it has increased over the years. Thanks to help with Cedar Falls Utilities, it's a smooth transition. The increase of technology will now include the introduction of web-connected notebook computers as part of the school's digital learning initiative. This initiative will put the notebook computers in the hands of every high school and junior high student, which will open up the access to learning tools and experiences outside the classroom. Grades 3rd through 6th will not be left out as there will be one notebook available for every two students, and grades kindergarten through second will share iPads on a three-to-one basis. Plans to take digital learning tools to the next level as a one-to-one -one school have been in the works for almost two years now. One of the important things that Cedar Falls teachers, administrators, staff, school board members, and parents on the district's technology committee have all agreed on is that they do not want to add this technology just for the sake of having more technology available, but to use it to help students learn and showcase their learning at greater levels. Years of work have been done to ensure the initiative is focused on student learning and achievement. And really the, the possibilities are endless when it comes to the use of technology. And again, it has to be focused on the student learning component. What do we expect students to know and understand as they move through our system? And it's based on our curriculum and our backbone. But when you open up those avenues with technology, and in this world, the, the, the world is shrinking, and we all know that. So you open up classrooms in, in collaboration with other entities, with other countries, with other uh, classrooms, with the use of technology. And that can happen seamlessly and instantaneously and that is so very exciting. You start talking about uh, tapping into students' interests and passions and, and their learning styles. The uh, school district is implementing a lot of new technology and uh, for their campus we provide uh, gigabit service. Uh, we were the first, uh, uh, first internet service provider in the state of Iowa to provide gigabit service to every, every uh, premise in, in the town and um, the school subscribes to our gigabit internet service and with that they can do a lot more uh, technology based teaching than they have in the past and we connect each of their um, buildings across the city with a full one gig point-to-point -point service and what we hear from the school district is that when they go out and meet their peers at other districts they're just amazed at the at the speed that we provide, the, the reliability that we provide, and also uh, the cost we provide, which is, is zero dollars a month. So um, many schools can't get, um, they struggle with any type of connectivity. We provide full gig service, and when we were formed, uh, our, um, uh, when we were formed, we agreed that as part of our uh, formation, we would connect all of the schools with fiber. So they've had a, a history of having super high speed connectivity between all the buildings, and now with our rollout of, of gigabit internet service, um, they can take that all the way to the internet and um, do a lot of the more advanced features that they're looking for. Funding became possible thanks to the last legislative session. In this last legislative session, we had an opportunity that we didn't have before. Uh, they, uh, in the past, we've always had what's called allowable growth, and this year they actually split that into two components. One is on-time funding uh, for allowable growth, and the other time was one-time funding, and they gave us 2% of one-time funding kind of as a supplement for uh, reducing the overall budgets. And we received 2%, and, and that 2% went directly into this technology because we knew we couldn't use it for positions or ongoing expenses, so we decided to use it as an initial startup to help funnel uh, technology into our classrooms. And then we have a sustainability plan built in because then we could take this and, and move it through a three-year recycle process to ensure sustainability. Much of the work done so far has been to improve the district's internal network and increase wireless access points at every building in preparation for the increased web traffic during the school day. The device the district decided on with this digital learning initiative was Chromebook laptops. This choice was due to the fact that the Chromebook laptops are durable, relatively low priced and easy to repair. They are also interchangeable between students because software applications and document storage are in the cloud and tied to the student's unique user identity rather than on the hardware. Cloud, cloud computing is, is a term that gets thrown all around a lot. Um, the reality is it's a big deal 
and it's here to stay. Um, when you can take the um, the storage needs and the and the processing needs out of the device that you're holding, and you put it up in a centrally located um, server or data center, what you really need then is the access and the reliability of the access to that data center. Um, there's an economies of scale that you can derive by having these huge servers and uh, storage farms in these data centers. Um, so it makes the Chromebooks a lot more cost affordable for the yeah, district, but they have to have that reliable connection to the internet, and that's what we can provide. Earlier this year, CFU completed a citywide upgrade of its communications network, bringing a fiber optic connection to every home and business in Cedar Falls. The school system already operates its wide area network over fiber optic cable that CFU installed several years ago at no cost to the district. The schools will keep a backup internet connection through the Iowa Communications Network. The Cedar Falls School District is looking forward to the positive outcomes of using the new technology. Reporting for Cedar Falls City News, I'm Shelby Gappa.